Well, today on the Boiling Point, we're going to be talking on fire tube and water tube and that the output of each one of those are a little bit different. OK, we'll be talking to Steve Taylor about that before we do. Make sure you go out and check out all of our social channels. You know, like us uh, on Facebook, share all of our YouTube stuff, check us out on LinkedIn and also our new social channel, BoilerWarehouse.com. Uh, you can always check out things there. One other thing, mark your calendars. Boiler 2024, May 1st through the 3rd. Make sure that you are there. We look forward to being with you today on The Boiling Point. Well, welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware, and this is Stephen Taylor, Director of our Rental Division at Ware. Now, Stephen, you know, we actually go to Stephen a lot of times on little, you know, just formulas and uh, just the knowledge that he has being in the business for so many years and one of the things that's come up is that a fire tube boiler that's an 800 horsepower and a water tube boiler that's an 800 horsepower they actually put out different pounds per hour yeah it's right? weird i don't know why they've ever designed them that way but they designed a water tube at the at, at the operating pressure that's the capacity so if it's a 30,000 pounder, it'll do 30,000 pounds at 200 PSI, or whatever operating pressure it is. It, at, you know, 100 PSI, 200 PSI, it will do 30,000 pounds an hour. Okay. A fire tube, because it's rated in horsepower, they rate them at zero PSI, 212 degrees. Okay. So every time you go up a pound, you're putting more BTU into that water to get that steam, to raise that, that temperature and pressure up, you reduce the output capacity of the boiler. So at 200 PSI on a fire tube, you're only going to produce 32.9 pounds of steam an hour per boiler horsepower versus the 34.5 it will do at zero and the water tube will do at whatever rate of pressure you're running at, it'll do 34.5. So it's, it's really, if you don't take that into consideration when a customer is real tight on their, their capacity and what they need, we just ran into it this morning on a job. Right then it, it, it'll really get you in trouble. You'll, you'll undersize the boiler and you won't get out of it what you think you're going to on that fire tube. Because even though the fire tube is rated at an 800, 27,600 pounds an hour, it will not do that at 100 PSI or anything over zero. Right, right. So that sometimes when somebody's calling in, they are asking for a certain size. That's where it kind of gets uh, sticky because we can actually do a job with a water tube or we can do it with a fire tube. Yeah. And so it's good to be able to understand, uh, why don't we go back through this? Um, if you have an 800 horsepower, how many pounds per hour 20, is that? 27,600 at zero PSI. Okay, so that you're going to get 27,000 pounds, uh, 27,600 by taking 800 horsepower times the 34.5 mm -hmm. and then that's your pounds per hour but because of the way it's rated at the zero psi then it's really not going to give you that much right if you get to 200 psi it'll only do 32.9 pounds an hour instead right. of 34.5 yeah so you reduce the output capacity of the board and you have have to take that into account when you're when you're sizing equipment up or you'll get yourself in trouble if, if you're tight on your capacity yeah in that particular instance we were also looking at a 30,000 pound that per hour water tube. Right. And in that case, you're going to get 30,000 pounds yeah. of steam out of it. You'll get 30,000 pounds of steam out of it. So we're going to elect to go, the customers are electing to go with the 30,000 pounder because we can get the capacity out of it where with the other one we couldn't. Well, make sure that you know the difference when you're uh, looking at fire tube and water tube and what you're going to get out of that boiler. And we'll see you next time on the Boiler Point.